Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher, and I have created a new drawing video to show you how to draw a Picasso art project. The tutorial comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. So please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that subscribe button up in the corner. It always helps me make more of these. So let's get on to that Picasso project and something he was famous for called cubism. I like to explain cubism as the art of seeing something from two different points of view at the same time. This project is a great example as you can draw one side of a face looking forward and one looking sideways. It's easy to try out and make a fun abstract portrait at the same time. Here are the art supplies you're going to need. Drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. To follow along with a printed set of directions, this tutorial can be downloaded for free on my website. Now before you begin your drawing, it really helps to make some centered guidelines on your paper. By folding and creasing your paper in half in both directions, you'll be able to easily see those guidelines, which I also mentioned in my tutorials. Step number one. To start the profile side of the face, begin at the top and draw the forehead and the nose. Step number two, continue down drawing the mouth and the chin. Step number three, continue the chin line into the cheek and add a neck below. Step number four, draw a simple sideways eye like this. And add eyelid lines above it. Step number five, add an eyebrow above the eye. Then draw the mouth to finish the profile side of your face. Step number six. To draw the other half of the face, use the right side to measure where the left cheek should start and draw it to match. Add a line to complete the neck below. Step number seven. Use the right eye to see where the left eye should be and draw the basic shape. Add the details inside. Add an eyelid line above the eye and then draw the left eyebrow. Step number eight, draw the left side of the mouth to finish that side of the face. Step number nine, it's time to start tracing your abstract portrait with a black marker. When you're done tracing, it's a really good time to erase any extra pencil lines that you see. To begin my coloring, I'm going to make my pupils and brows black so they really show up. The right side of the face, I'm going to color orange because, well, now is a really good time to try out some crazy colors. And to add some punch, I'm coloring the left side blue. Blue and orange are complementary colors and make each other look extra bright. I'm coloring my eyes green, as well as my neck. Purple lips on the right side will add lots of contrast as well as a purple background on the left. I'm going to use my yellow the same way, both starting with the lips and then finishing off the right side of the background. Here's one more idea. You can use a thick marker to trace the main shapes again to make them look more bold, or you can just go over the lines again with your regular marker. Both will work fine. So there is my completed cubism portrait. I had fun just using solid colors, but you could certainly go crazy with patterns too. When it comes to abstract art, the crazier the better. Hey, thanks so much for following along with me, and I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial. I have many more tutorials like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including one inspired by Matisse. I hope you check it out.